So Gideon, a few um, months ago, he came out as a Christian and it was super exciting for all of us. But recently um, he posted a video that's talking about like his Christian status now currently, because obviously it is a ongoing process. You can't just come out once and think you're going to be safe from absolutely everything. It takes time. And trust me, I know I've, I've been through it. But this video, I have actually have not seen it. This is my genuine raw reaction of Gideon talking about what's going on with his christianity and is he still following god and i'm honestly kind of nervous to hear this because i'm like wow like is he coming back like did he decide to not follow god anymore um what's happening um like is this going to be another kanye west situation where you know they find god for a few months and they leave and i think that's why it's so hard when celebrities come to christ it's so hard for them to stay in that because they have way more temptation than we as i would say regular people do so this is kind of his take on him in his update on what's going on i just want to address everything bro we're gonna get it all out there in all honesty i feel like i don't need to address myself because what i've realized is people on the internet they come in with their own opinion you know what i mean it's kind of like the drake kendrick lamar beef you feel me a lot of people went in with the mindset that kendrick won you know what I mean? No, Kendrick won. It doesn't matter what Drake drops. It doesn't matter what Drake said. People already came in with that mindset. When, you know, Drake will drop a song or something, it's like, ah, bro, it's whatever. Kendrick's better. That's the best way I can explain this. I made two videos on my main channel addressing everything and telling people, you know, why I wouldn't be doing pranks and, you know, why I would be stepping away from all that. And so that was in like October when I made that last video on my main channel, right? Fast forward to December, House of Highlights hit me up. They're like, yo, Jadeon, we're doing a creator's putt-putt tournament, bro. So be you, Baylon Levine, your Rays, the Adrian Harden, you know, it's just going to be a fun, good time. So I'm like, bro, play putt-putt with my friends, other creators, people I haven't seen in a while. They fly me out. I go out there. And we play putt-putt. Had a good time. I go on Instagram. I'm looking at the post. Tell me why I go in the comments section and I see people saying, oh, I knew he was lying about being a real Christian, bro. Look at him. He's still out here doing stuff. Because I was playing putt-putt. Bro, I... I, can't, I, I people were literally complaining on the IG for me playing putt-putt. Then I also saw people saying, I thought he said he would never go on the internet again. He's such a liar. And bro, I'm seeing people say the complete opposite of what I said. The video's up. I, I go out in public. You know, people are like, bro, I thought you said you would never post a video again. I it's like, it's like, were we not watching the same video, bro? Like, I put the video up there. And so, earlier today, man, I posted a video. Good chat. We posted a video on the second channel, man. If you guys haven't seen it already, man, go check it out. We posted purposely bombing at comedy shows. It was me, Vito, Blazin, Jay Yoma, Hilbert. They all pulled up on us. We went to a comedy show, and we were like, bro, here, let's purposely bomb to see let's who see who can get the least laughs. You know what I mean? We're just going around having fun. Posted the video. Go in the comment section. Oh, I knew he wasn't a real Christian. Da 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 da. -da. Mm -hmm. Is Jadeon still a Christian? You know, I'll be seeing it in the chat, bro. We'll be vibing, reacting to a video. Mm -hmm. Someone will come up in the chat. Is Jadeon still Christian? Question mark. So this is what I want to talk about. Am I still a Christian? Of course, bro. Of course, mm -hmm. bro. Okay. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior till the day I die. I have no plans on changing that, bro. I've been a Christian my entire life. Just because I say I'm giving my life to Christ doesn't mean I wasn't a Christian before. It's just like I want to really dedicate my life to Christ. I think a lot of people saw the title and the thumbnail and they were like, oh, bro, he was never a Christian before, yada, 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 yada. And this is the thing, man. It's probably my fault for putting it out there, but the reason why I put my journey out to the world, for instance, it wasn't to get brownie points with the Christian community. It wasn't to get sympathy from y'all. It was none of that. It was 100, 1,000% for me. And I'll tell you guys why. So many times before, I would tell myself, you know what? God, you know, I'm not going to be doing stuff. Like, I'm not going to be doing, like, these cringy e-dates. I'm not going to be, you know, um, sexualizing women. Doing stuff that I would do on streams or on videos and stuff. And then I'll turn right back around and I'll do that stuff. You know what I mean? I kept on having like a private battle within myself. It'll be like, oh, I'm not going to do that. Do it again. 
Oh, I'm not going to do that. Do it again. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Do it again. Tale as old as time being a Christian. You know what I mean? We constantly fall back in sin. Now, I was like, bro, something's got to give. So what I did for myself was I put myself into rehab, low key. But I put myself into internet rehab. I put out there to the world, world, I'm not going to be doing this anymore. I am not going to be doing this type of content. I'm not going to be sexualizing women. I'm not going to be doing this stuff anymore. I'm not going to be the Jadeon that you guys saw previously. I put that out there, not for you guys, but for me, to hold me accountable. Because I couldn't hold myself accountable. So I was like, you know what, Jadeon? If you're going to be acting up, now the world's going to see you act up and backtrack. It. So that was my mindset when I did that. I put it out there so the world can see so I can hold myself accountable actually this time that was the whole reason why i did it mm. and what i also feel like is a lot of people saw that video and bro i had so many different like pastors being like yo man you need to come to my church and stuff and it was never even out of love bro like i looked at it as like a lot of the people that were hitting me up it was just like my views mm. who i am oh it's a celebrity giving his life over to christ oh Okay, I'm not going to say celebrity. An influencer with a lot of followers. Let me humble myself. Let me humble myself. I don't know why I said celebrity. But, you know, it's an influencer with a lot of influence giving himself over to Christ, bro. And a lot of people made a big deal out of the video when they really shouldn't have. Because, bro, it doesn't matter how many followers you have. If you're a follower of Christ, bro, and you're giving your life to Christ, man, it's congratulations. Bro, praise God. But it's like, for some reason, when someone with influence does it, it's like we venerate them, bro. I was getting all types of weird veneration. I was getting all types of weird videos made on me, bro. I was getting so many deep dives from Christian channels, deep diving into everything, breaking it down. It's not that big a deal. It's a big deal, but it's not that big a deal. The angels and God, they rejoice for everybody that turned their life over to Christ. You know, they don't look at your subscriber count. And be like, oh man, whoa, whoa, whoa. To Dion came over to our side. Hey, yo, say it, man. You took the L on this one. So fast forward. I just do me, man. You know what I mean? I go to Japan. Like, I, I'm chilling. You know, I take a break from social media because I had so many people tell me, even my own pastor, he was telling me, he was like, bro, you know, you could still be an entertainer and, you know, follow Christ. And I knew that. So many people were telling me, Dion, you know, you can follow Christ and be an entertainer. It's like, bro, duh. I know that. Like, look at people like Corey Kenshin. I know that. But my mindset was so far removed. Imagine you do something a certain type of way. And it's like, I didn't build my house on proper soil. You know what I mean? Like, I'm out here doing pranks every week. You know, just agitating everybody. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I'm over here making this thirst, super thirsty content. You know, getting girls and stuff to get more views and everything on the second channel. And it's like, you can't just switch that over. You know, you got to take a break. You got to take a step back. Because I would try to take a, I would try to switch it over while still doing YouTube and it never worked. So I took a step back, bro. And I really just like soaked everything in, was putting what's important in front of everything. It's known as my family, my friends, God first. And then it's like social media, you know, because, bro, I'm a creator still. I love to create. I love to make dope videos. I love to make people laugh, but you know, there's better ways I can make people laugh. I guess this whole yap session is, it's like, bro, I'm still a Christian. And will I make mistakes? Yes, bro. I know the hairline and a beard might get you guys fooled, but I'm only 23 years old. I'm just doing the best I can. Do I regret anything I did? Like, you know, saying I'm giving my life over to Christ? No, I don't regret it at all. It really set me in the right direction. You know what I mean? Maybe put things in perspective. Do I still mess up? Oh, bro. Yes, a ton. A ton. That's the thing about being a Christian, man. It's like, you know, as long as God gives us breath that next day, you know, we can bear our cross and do better, you know. Leave whatever sin we were committing yesterday on the hill, and then we bear our cross and we do better. I got a lot of eyes on me. I got a lot of eyes on me. And, bro, it's like, in all honesty, bro, I was afraid to upload videos for a fat minute because I was worried about what people would be saying. And then... It finally dawned on me, bro. People are going to say, bro, people were saying stuff about me playing putt-putt. If people are going to be saying stuff about me playing putt-putt, then, bro, you know what? Let me make sure I'm just doing everything according to the word, keep myself good. That's the best I can do. I can't worry. Real quick, um, I think what's sad about becoming a Christian is that people forget that you're, you're a human, too. 
Like, people hold you to this whole other standard that is impossible when being a Christian is just admitting that you are in sin and that you're lost and that you're in need of God and that you are a sinful human that needs a Savior. That's all what being a Christian is, is accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And that's what sucks because we people forget that we're human. So when we do like one little thing, even like there's times where like I've gotten hurt and I've cursed by accident. I, like I've said like the, like I'm like, oh, she's like, you know, the S word. Like I'm like, oh, and they're like, oh, ooh, you said a bad word. And I'm like, oh, sorry, like I just got hurt, you know, and people don't have grace over you and they forget that you're human, but they expect this kind of perfection when literally being a christian is admitting that you're not perfect it's admitting that you need a savior that's perfect and i love jideon um i've watched him even when he was like more lukewarm um he's always made me laugh he's always been such a joy and i think when he came to christ i was so happy i was super excited for him because i knew that that was just the best decision that anybody could make for their lives and I know recently he posted a video about his hairline and how he got like a transplant and people in the comments, I was reading them, people were saying, oh, um, he decided to leave Christ, like um, just assuming all of these things that weren't real just because he, he uploaded on his main channel again. And a lot of times people think that because we're Christian, we have to be so far off from the world and we can't be relatable. We can't be funny. We can't have fun. Like they see us as freaks. They see us as like we're pilgrims. Like we're supposed to be in the pilgrim age, but we're like just regular people that mess up and sometimes want to laugh. And we have humor that isn't perverted, but it's still funny. Like being funny doesn't always have to be in a perversive way. It could be in a holy way that honors God. You know, I think the I think God, God created humor and the devil perverted humor and he tried to make it he tried to make it for himself he tried to steal humor from God but I'm grateful that there are still comedians who follow God and are taking the humor that God created back they're like no humor belongs to Jesus he created humor and we're taking it back and it we don't have to be perverted to be funny we don't have to cuss to be funny we don't have to sexualize women or be over overly sexual to be funny we can be funny in a holy and a pure way that glorifies God but it still makes us laugh and I think that's what Jideon wants to do he is talented with just being a funny person I think even listening to him he just makes me laugh and that's such a like a blessing and it's such a gift that God has given him because how many times have you had like such a bad day and then someone that was funny just like uplifted your mood and that's something that God calls us to do is to encourage one another and like uplift each other's moods and that's what Jideon does he's such a blessing in that way to our society and I think it's awesome that he also follows Christ that he loves God and puts him in the center and admits that he's not perfect and what's awesome about Gideon is that he's humble enough to admit that he's teachable where he's like okay I accept my faults like I'm sorry like forgive me for that that's a beautiful heart of a true Christian is someone who admits that they make mistakes and is able to be taught a lot of people who are just religious don't ever want to be taught anything. They just want to, they already have their own way and they're like, no, this is the right way. This is the way I'm going to go. Don't teach me nothing. And that's not the heart of a true Christ follower because God calls us to be humble and to be teachable. So people are overreacting. They're trying to like just take him down. I mean, that's what the devil does. The devil will always make it seem like you're not good enough. Like you're not good enough for God. You're not good enough to be a Christian. He will always put those lies into your head. And I really hope that Gideon, from what I, I see, he's being discipled by a great pastor and he is, you know, hearing God's voice and being in constant communication with Jesus and in prayer. So that's going to make him go far. And um, the devil will just talk and talk and always put you down. He'll always be that voice in your head saying you're not enough. How like how dare you? You think God loves you. He'll just lie to you and lie to you. And I know that because I've experienced that myself where I feel like I'm not good enough for Jesus. Where I'm like, God, how can you notice someone like me? Like I am nothing to you, but God sees me as worthy. He literally came down to die for me. He, he gave up the riches of heaven for the raggedies of earth just so I could know him, you know? So I hope that Gideon understands that. I love Gideon. I'm for him. Um, I, I pray that he continues to just follow God and just be honest with his faults. I think this is like a beautiful video and I'm happy that he's bringing so many young men to God and um, that's all God's glory, right? Of course, like how he said in the video that just because he's famous, it doesn't matter. Like heaven, applaud, if heaven rejoices over any sinner that came to Christ, over any sinner who repents, it doesn't matter. And so um, he shouldn't be the one getting the attention. It should always be the glory to God. But let me know your thoughts on this, you guys. I always would love to hear like your comments and your feedback on what you guys think. And I am out.